Hey everyone, so we are here with the Ottawa Tourism Board to shoot some video and photo content and while we're here, I thought I'd put together a little video for you guys on how to find cool locations in any city. Alright, so one of the best ways to find cool locations is to just go on Instagram and look up the hashtag or the geolocation for the place you're gonna be in. So for Ottawa right now, the number one place is along the canal here where people are skating and there's delicious beaver tails. Are you happy? I've had a slight error in my diet. <laughs> Yeah, just a slight. How did this happen? These are like the benefits and also like the negative parts of like the tourism board things. I it's like your that. diet, gone. Because everything is delicious in Ottawa. And we were gonna, we were gonna be so good. I'm gonna keep trying. While we're here everyone, this is Matt, awesome hey. photographer. <laughs> Follow him. Lizzie. Hi. She likes food and she <laughs> takes dope photos and makes videos. Follow her. Okay. And you already probably follow this guy if you follow me. So, I guess give him some more followers. Cheers. Another really easy tip is just to look up the event calendars for what's happening in the city that you're in. You can check out the official website or even just blogs and articles to find out cool different things that are happening. So right now in Ottawa, winter loot is on, so they have a bunch of great food, cool ice sculptures. But we just found out that it's really cool here at night and lit up, so we'll be back then. But because of the magic of YouTube, you can see that right now. simple tip to get cool locations is to get up at sunrise and do your photos then or stay up really late because the majority of people don't bother to get up early and they want to go to bed later or they're going out to bars or whatever so if you wow it's really cold and I just like walked on this bridge and I'm out of breath and now it, it seems like I'm really out of shape uh, yeah but point being get up really early in the morning, get up at sunrise, you will get so much more beautiful photos and also there's not as many people around. So if you're going to an iconic tourist spot, you're not gonna be fighting for a good spot or you're not gonna have to edit people out or things like that. And the light is just so nice on the right day. All right, so for this tip, I'm actually just curling my hair because we are now running late. You can actually just turn sort of normal everyday locations into something really cool with a bit of planning. Right now, I'm just in like a 20 square foot little bathroom at the hotel. And me and Lizzie just actually made this into a dope scene and got some great photos. Yeah, that's just a super easy way to um, make your location cool. Another really easy way to find cool locations in any city is simply just to ask people. So I put out on my Instagram story being like, hey, anyone from Ottawa or who knows the city, send me cool food recommendations or unique places to go visit. And a bunch of you did. And a thing that came up a bunch of times was the rooftop of the Andes Hotel. And also people said the breakfast at the restaurant downstairs is amazing too. So we were like, hey, Kill two birds with one stone. Just had an amazingly epic breakfast downstairs. The food was beautiful, it was delicious. Here's some photos. And then we came up to the rooftop for some skyline views of the city, which are awesome as well. So just like ask people, ask people at your hotel, wherever you're staying, on the street. Don't be afraid because locals are gonna have some of the best recommendations. So we just got back from the spa, hence why I'm looking so zen and chill right now. I 100% didn't want to leave, but today we are heading back to Toronto. But I hope that you actually had fun tagging along on our Ottawa shoot and checking out how we find locations and how we use those locations. But the biggest thing that I want to leave you with is that when you get to a location after you've researched it and found it, spend some time finding some cool angles or doing some different poses or looking for little tiny details to really bring that spot to life. So. 
first of all, go out and find cool locations and then when you're there, make the most of it and just keep at it until you get something that you really, really love. All right, so if you like this video, actually like the video, that would be great. Leave a comment down below on how you find cool locations and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel to just, you know, make me smile if you'd like. Uh, okay, until next time, peace out.